Uh, the book can be a bit of a labour of love. I know there are a few authors in the room here. And uh, it was interesting when, when the guys asked me this, uh, would I be prepared to write a book? I'd always wanted to write one. And this, the, this kind of was the thing that ignited my passion. I said, yeah, let's, let's get in here and, uh, and give it a go. Some people ask, why did I write it with someone else? Why did I co-author with it with uh, another party? And a big part of that is my belief around collaboration and working together. And particularly with with Shane and Jason, uh, you know, we have quite a complex um, uh, investing methodology. We've got multiple companies and trusts, and I'm also a small to medium-sized business owner myself. So sometimes getting loans, sometimes structuring what we do is really quite complex. And basically I went around to a lot of different people, a lot of different organisations, and most of the time I got a no, or I got a, no, we can't do that. And then I came across these guys, and there was always yes. It was, yeah, we're going to find a way. We'll, we'll do it. And, and that was the, the attitude, like the small to medium-sized entrepreneur attitude that I absolutely love. And then we also got Jeremy, who's you know, a, gun, uh, business law, uh, a gun lawyer, particularly for business owners. And so we kind of got like, anyone ever watch that movie Ocean's Eleven? You know, the very, the very beginning where it's kind of, like, let's get the team together and let's kind of go out there and, and make some magic. Well, that's the feeling I had when we brought the team together and we wrote about this book. Uh, and as the guy said, you know, my original, my original background actually, oh, I am a business uh, mentor and coach. I originally was a commander in the Navy though, I spent 18 years in the Navy. I went and got five university qualifications because I thought that, university lecturers had the answers and the results. And so then I decided that they lecture for a reason and I needed to go out into the business community <laughs> and really discover what was really happening. So I invested well over $700,000 traveling world, mixing with Richard Branson, with Tony Robbins, with Jay Abraham, the marketing guru. And I've been fortunate enough to work with companies from startup right up to large corporations like uh, Brookfield Multiplex, uh, Westpac Bank. What's interesting though that over that time I've worked with over 1160 businesses on a one-on-one -on -one relationship and over 3,000 in a group setting. And most business, particularly here in Australia, really have three major things that are their biggest problem. First one is most of them are just not profitable enough. If I actually sit down and actually went through the amount of hours the business owners put in and look at their return on those hours, they're just not getting the bang for buck for all the commitment they actually put in. Second big thing is that they're not attracting and converting the leads in the way that they should. And really they're using old models that don't work in today's economy. They don't have an architecture that can help them to grow their business profitably. And the third thing is they're frustrated and they're confused. They don't have enough time and their team is not supporting them on their mission. The end result though, unfortunately, really great people, really people who are putting it out there, making, trying to put their best foot forward, end up having what I call a zombie business. A business that's sort of half alive, there's enough sales happening, but it's kind of half dead, it's not really kind of working the way that they want it to. And it doesn't need to be that way, it doesn't. And so when, they, when the guys asked me about writing a book, what I realized is this was my opportunity after working with so many people to actually unpack, okay, what is it that works? And I found there were five key things, five main things, which I call force multipliers. So when you put these things into place, it gives you a big shift in your business. It means you can have a profitable business that not only gives you more money, but also increases the value and the valuation of the business. Second thing, it makes sales and bringing in new leads a lot easier. And the third thing is to have a clear map and a clear plan that not only can they follow, but also their team can as well. And ultimately they end up with a business that's, that not only gives them more money, but it's also one that has more meaning and is more sustainable. And that's what gets me out of bed. I, I love seeing the entrepreneur spirit. I love seeing people who are just putting it out there and risking it all. And you know, the truth is in this country, entrepreneurs and business owners, we're the backbone of this country. We employ more people. We take the biggest risks. We're the innovators. The government's certainly not the ones who are going to take our country from where it is today to where it could be. And if you think this is, if you think this is like a book launch and it's a place to just have drinks and have a meal, then you've probably missed the point. What we're really here to do 
is as a community of business leaders and of business owners to make a difference to actually look at what you're doing and seeing how we can do that in a better way in a way that can actually um, get your message out there to the planet to put products and services out there that can actually help the community at large so that not only can you feel confidence in what you're doing you can have confidence that you can employ great people you can have confidence that you can support a lot of other people at the same time what we what we are doing in our mission what we're a part of is really and what we're known for is to really have a community of business leaders that are growing sustainable businesses ones that they enjoy on a Monday coming into and they enjoy working in ones that actually give them more profit that actually give them more fun and feel like they're actually uh, living their destiny on the planet and ultimately they have a business that they have a lot more confidence in that they can actually implement and that they have confidence they're making they're making the right decisions so in the book we we put together all the things that we believe are the biggest mistakes people make and how to solve that and ultimately what ends up happening is as a business owner as an entrepreneur you have a business now that you have a lot more hope in you have a sense of pride that it's not just about the money, but it's about the meaning and the legacy that you're leaving on the planet.